up, motherfuckers? I'm here with the homie Tomahawk. We're shaking. And Telly K in the back. And you know how I've been doing lately. There's been a few motherfuckers riding with Nutty. But oh shit. Look who driving. I'm not even driving. <laughs> Damn, matter of fact, look around, nigga. This ain't even my car. It look like it's chandeliers <laughs> in this motherfucker. You haven't mistaken it. It's still riding with Nutty, but this is... I don't, I don't even know what the fuck to call it no more. Because I'm, I'm fucking in parking lots. I'm on the side streets. Other people driving my car. I'm in somebody else's car. I don't even know what the fuck to call it. Well, I guess we can still call it riding with Nutty. Because I'm in this motherfucker. But like I said, I'm in here with Tomahawk. I don't, I don't know if you ever heard of Tomahawk, but like, this motherfucker makes some dope-ass music. I don't, I don't want to box his music or say what the fuck it is, but it's just like, fucking music. I'm just a weird boy. How long you been rapping this shit? Uh, uh, I did my first live performance in 2005. So, I've been, I guess I just haven't rapping since 2005. But, I've really been rapping on it. I did my first live show in 05. Then, what year did Telly K? I used to play in a band and uh, called Grandfather. I played drums and Telly K recorded, did the drum tracking, most of the drum tracking. That's how we met on the album we recorded. So he was his cousin at the studio and we were recording, our band was recording over there. That's how I met him. I did like a little rap part on one of our breakdowns. It was like heavy shit, man. Like brutal death metal grind. Oh, uh, that type of shit. Yeah, like, low-key, really. I, like, I feel it. Like, what the fuck? Like, yo, sound yeah, and shit. Yeah, it, 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 like, Telly K, I, like, I oh, sense it, 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 it like, what the fuck, yo, beats. Like, even though it's like, all right, like, motherfuckers doing rap type shit now. Yeah. I'm it's, good on that, bro. <coughs> Telly K doesn't even smoke either. Damn. I haven't been smoking, man. I just been keeping it cool. God damn, I'm the only motherfucker smoking this shit. Yeah, I'm good. I well, I base my now. beat making more on the death metal grindcore type of shit. That's where all your like, yeah, I can hit tell from like them bass lines and, and the shit. Dark and the darkness of it and all that. Yeah, I guess we'll just say, like, we just stick with a dark, real dark sound and dark style. It works for us, man. And, and kind of like dark lyrical content, you know. Yeah, like shit, I could tell like fucking, like personally, my ass, so I'll be seeing like fucking visions with, with good music. I can say I see visions with like good music. So, like, and shit, sometimes it's fucked up visions and shit. Like, yeah, and, like, I be, like, shit, what's your shit? I see a lot of dark shit. Like, man. Like, sometimes, like, decomposing or some shit, like, some shit like that. Like, a time lapse or something decomposing with, like, you know, like, yeah, like it's like crazy. Young decomposition. But it's just, I, I will say, I will say that I always try to maintain, even within the song, the lyrical content's dark, the sound's dark, the title might be dark, but in there I will always remain 51% positive on the positive note with it. I will try to maintain that. There's a, I just, there's a great, um, there's a quick little great metaphor for that and it's, uh, uh, it's a story by a Persian fucking poet back in like the 15th century and he says there's a story about Jesus It's just a poem about Jesus and he's talking about going walking through the Gobi Desert or Gobi Desert How you pronounce it? And he's talking about they come upon a decomposing dog carcass and Everyone is just noting on how they're turning away and how disgusting the dog is, you know, and then Jesus notes the how beautiful the dog's pearly white teeth are and that's all he has to say about it. And it was, you know, it's just showing, you know, we have to maintain positivity in this world of fucked up shit. Fucked up shit. You have to remain positive. Otherwise, the 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 kind of like dark fucking bad element evil type thing will take you over or something. At a certain point, it'll get you. Human beings are no longer assessing the world around them with their inner feelings, through their heart, their gut, their instinct, their inner instincts with each other, with one another. We're turning to machines and we're turning into machines and that is exactly what the forces that are on the planet that have operated on the planet for a long time want us to be autumn automatons like bots fuck bots little fucking drone bots that go to work make money fuck keep you know it's like 
it's just so no one's speaking up about anything and it's like dude we're in we're in dire times I mean, yeah. truly truly that's why I like fucking I see I think our generation is like gonna change shit cause like I see our generation speaking up more than other generations did or like you know mm-hmm. it's happening now during our time where we like fucking getting like the fucking shit it, it helps out because of social networking yeah like, but it also is like I, I'll say this a lot of my social networking it can be used or it can use you um which I don't have the internet on my phone like I said I just have the metro PCS I won't I don't want to be able to access that entity on my own time on my phone. When I sit down on a laptop, then I'm saying I'm choosing. I choose you now to to use you to to access information, to Google you, to you to, to get what I want. But if it's if it if it's in my pocket and it's getting me, I don't want to be lured in like in that way anymore. Because I see certain things that are operating behind the devices. I don't you know unseen things man you know it's like we talked about earlier taking a hit of acid eat some mushrooms try taking a hit of acid eating some mushrooms and then picking up your iphone and see and see what you see and what you feel yes right there like you gonna see like it's like a whole different villain you don't even want to fuck with you don't want to because it doesn't feel right you should be and i'm not promoting saying promote eat eat, eat acid no or not doing drugs what those things I just ash on my fucking brew. I hope like the ash don't get in my mouth. Ashes of summer. Fuck it. Mayday, going nutty. Payday on the microphone, my buddy. Bitch. We don't even got a mic though. Mm-mm. All we got is Telly Mike though. Yup. Six six six. Who's next? You wanna get check holes in the chest? Get popped, get stomped like an elephant. Stuff your face with nuts, bitch. Mm. Pigs on my dick. My Bow. Locked up in the Jimmy Kid. Fuck em. Call it Cooper Street. Fuck em. All these dudes want beef. Shoot them deep. Fuck em. Chest bang. Bang. Hit them hard like it's propane. Bang. In the paint. Go harder. No range. I'm ballin'. No gang. I'm ballin'. No gang. Bitch. I ain't ballin'. Got no gang. Long hair, roll gang. Telly K's got it down to his nose though. On the microphone, I'm sh- he's got a show low. Call that a mullet. Shave it all off, that's a skullet. Put, put, hole in one. Make it two, that's three. Pop him in the knee. Step back metaphorically. Spitting bars, rhyming real hard. In my car, that's escape. Try to get past my death fate. Young death on the track, who's next? Shooting that dope. Then go to Focus Hope. <laughs> I was in the street shooting dope. <laughs> trying to rob the Pope. <laughs> Nigga, fuck religion. <laughs> I'm taking your children. <laughs> Teach them how to slang. <laughs> I'll hear the gangbang. On that bullshit. Like the fucking pool pit. Trip. Fuck that fucking church shit. Trip, 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 trip. I'll run up in that bitch. Trip. Tell the preacher. That nigga just a leecher. Leecher. Of the fucking life. And the way this nigga living this trife. No kidding, man. Telly K in the back. Me and Tomahawk in the front. Don't know how to act. Sipping brews in the car. Bursting like a star. Ain't in the bar. Cause them drinks cost too much. Fuck that shit. (laughs) Rob the Pope. I know. That was so that much. Be the fuck, hardest line that, dog, that was so much fucked up shit. Like, don't judge me, but like, you know, I don't fuck with all that I shit. Know. Like, you're robbing the pole. Fuck him. That's you got some fucking. <laughs> Damn, like, uh, it was that, that was like childhood like memories and shit. I'm I'm a grown man now, so I'm like, yeah, fuck. Oh, I'd rob him. Fuck him, dude. They, know, uh, <laughs> they you know they have actually. There's someone. Look it up. The uh, they call him the Black Pope. He's not a black dude, but. He is basically, dude, this dude looks evil and he represents pure evil. They say that he's the one that's actually truly control, controlling the, uh, behind the closed doors of the, of, uh, you know, the whole sanction. This dude called the Black Pope. Google it. I won't get too well, far into it. I'ma rob that nigga. That's what I'm saying. I'll rob that Pope. Both Popes. But that, 